would like to wish a warm welcome to all my friends in Central America. It's David George Brook, the Gratitude Guy. And my good friend, Sonny Shute, is down there with all of you and asked me to say a few words about gratitude, which I'm, of course, happy to do. I call myself that gratitude guy. And it's all about expressing gratitude as focusing on what you have versus what you don't have. To me, there's six things I think that are so important. Embracing gratitude, number one. That's the attitude of gratitude mindset where you're always focusing on your abundance and not your lack. We live in a world where so many people focus on what they don't have versus what they do have. And if we really look at our abundance, we look at all the blessings, if you will, your entire life works better. Hence, an attitude of gratitude. Embracing gratitude and understanding the principle, so very important. The second thing, it takes as long as it takes, don't ever give up. There's something about it takes as long as it takes, meaning your journey is a specific journey just for you. About six years ago, I decided to become a speaker and become the gratitude guy. And I noticed that I was later in life than a lot of people. I was 62 years old. Didn't matter. It took as long as it took. I wanted to be a speaker when I was 19 years old. So it was 45 plus years until I finally got the courage to go out and spend my time and my energy expressing to people the power of gratitude. Don't ever, ever give up. That was Winston Churchill. There's so many examples in my life where I've not given up when I really wanted to and yet when I hung in there it's like they say the the miner go gives up two or three inches from the vein of gold if he just gone a little bit further he would have found the gold so it's so important to never give up and know that your journey is a specific one for you it takes as long as it takes and embrace that for you number three make room for gratitude clear out your brain we get so much junk in our brain I tell people that sometimes it's like driving a car. They drive over junk in their life. They pick it up from behind them, put it in front of them, and drive over it again. And speaking of a car, there's this huge windshield in the front, which is gigantic, and there's a little teeny rear view mirror. Look at your life in about that proportion. Mostly about 90, 95% focus on what's in front of you. Take a look occasionally to see what's behind you to learn from it, but mostly focus on what's in front of you. Now, of course, if you see flashing blue lights, in the rear view mirror, you do have to pull over. But nonetheless, keep looking forward. Number three, get a gratitude journal. It is so powerful. A gratitude journal, in fact, I just happen to have one. The Brooker's Daily Gratitude Journal. And I said number three, this is actually number four. The gratitude journal makes such a big difference. There's a little saying in the top of my journal that says, if you think about it, it's like a dream. If you talk about it, it inspires you. But if you write about it, it empowers you. We want to be empowered. Writing it down on a piece of paper, I am so grateful I had a chance to meet Sunny and she invited me to talk to you folks today. Whatever it is, is writing it down on those pages makes such a big difference. There's a spot to put down what you're going on in your life so you don't need a diary. There's another spot down here to have the highlight of your day. And then on the right hand side is for your gratitude intentions, what's going to happen that hasn't even happened yet. So you program your mind to focus on where you want to go. Number five, Find yourself, find your passion, find your purpose. I contend the most important relationship you'll ever have in your life, bar none outside of maybe your creator, is you, the person you see in the mirror. So important to have a good relationship with yourself. If you do, fantastic. If you don't, take out a piece of paper and a pen, make a list of some things to change it. It's always one of these things about that relationship you have and you can smile and know that person is making a great effort. I remember once speaking about the relationship I had with myself when I was down in Las Vegas with a friend of mine and he'd won on the slot machine and all the quarters were dropping down and he was cheering and going, Brooker, I won the money. He won a thousand dollars worth of quarters. Yeah, I think he put in five bucks. I'm going to buy dinner. Hey, aren't you excited? I was excited. But then it hit me as I was looking at the slot machine and the quarters were dropping down. I'd be just a little bit more excited, just a little bit if it was me. But that speaks to the relationship that we have with ourselves. So important. Once you find that, next thing is to find your passion. That's pretty easy to do. It comes down to what did you want to do when you grew up and you never got a chance to do it? What would you do if you had a million dollars in your checking account every single day? Couldn't possibly spend it. What if everything that you ever needed in your life was taken care of? What would you do? That might direct you to your passion. You find yourself, you find your passion, you probably find your purpose. Lastly, sharing gratitude. Once you have got an attitude of gratitude and you understand how it can impact people. Once or twice a week, people tell me I've changed their life. It's the most phenomenal thing I can hear. 
much more so than any treat or any gift or any thing that somebody's given to me is the fact that I got to impact a life. But when we share things, it's so much more fulfilling. I'm sure you've had an experience in your life where something really good happened to you and the first thing you thought of is, who can I tell? I've got to tell somebody because I'm so excited about it. And if you didn't have somebody to share it with them, it was great, but it wasn't quite as good and fulfilling as if there had been someone there for you to share it with. So think about that. Embracing gratitude, it takes as long as it takes. Don't ever give up. Clear out your brain, make room for gratitude. Get a gratitude journal. Find yourself, find your passion, find your purpose. And lastly, share gratitude. It's a mindset that will make such a difference in your life. I'm telling you, I've watched it transform countless lives. It could transform yours too. I'm looking forward to coming down there, Sonny. I'm going to be down there soon enough. I'll get down there. Anyway, great to chat with you folks today. Take care.